Eight year 13, hello. Um, I'm here to talk about some chromium chemistry. Um, there's two specific elements where you need to know quite a lot of the colours and the chemistry. And one is chromium and one is vanadium. So I've got some chromium um, compounds out here for you. Some of them you know already, uh, some of them you don't. Um, this is uh, potassium chromate. Uh, this contains the CrO42 minus ion. Now you've come across dichromate more often than you have chromate, uh, but I hope you can appreciate the oxidation number of chromium here is plus six. Of course, we've got two potassiums, so that's obviously uh, two, two, two pluses there, and that would be uh, four two minuses, so that must be plus six. So this is potassium chromate six. So if I put potassium chromate, it's yellow. The chromate ion, chromate six ion is yellow. I can convert that into the dichromate ion via just an acid base uh, equilibrium here. This isn't redox. I can change this by adding some H plus to turning it into dichromate. This is still plus six. And this is plus six, so this is just an acid base equilibrium. So if I add some H plus to this stuff, I can make it go orange. Now I've got a choice of acids I could use here. I've got some HCl, or I've got some sulfuric acid. Now, the reason why I put them both out there is to pose this question. You probably know that uh, the dichromate is very, very oxidizing indeed. Uh, and has an electro, uh, electro potential of plus 1.33 volts. Uh, chlorine is actually slightly more oxidizing at plus 1.36 volts, but this is getting a bit close. It's very rare if we want to add protons to something that's very oxidized that I'm going to use HCl, because I could actually start forming chlorine in the lab. Technically, if we had standard solutions, it's not possible, because this should go from left to right, uh, and the chlorine could actually oxidize uh, chromium 3 plus upwards, but just to be safe, we're just going to use H2SO4. So I'm going to put the HCl away, I'm not going to use that, and I'm just going to add some sulfuric acid. Look what happens. Whoa, isn't that nice? So it's gone orange, and this is what you know is dichromate. Okay, so you're more familiar uh, with that. I can change it back though, so if we do the opposite, here we go. I've now got some orange dichromate, I can add hydroxide ions to form uh, this back to being chromate six. The other way around, it's, the, the equation is a little bit harder to work out here. You need to have water on the right hand side and use two OH minus. Uh, it balances, you've got nine oxygens on both sides. And the charges balance too, you've got four minus here and you've got four minus there. A little bit more difficult to do that. This is a bit easier. Uh, you're just trying to rip off one oxygen here because you've got seven there. So you just need two protons and to form a water on the right hand side. Uh, this equation is a little bit harder to figure out. Okay, so this should go back to being yellow, so I add some sodium hydroxide. And there we go, it goes back to being yellow. And if I wanted to, I could play with this all day. Right, it's great fun, this, look, there we go. And I could make this going back to being orange, there we go, look, there we are. And if I wanted to, I could uh, get some sodium hydroxide. And we could just play all day here, going from orange to yellow, from orange to yellow, uh, from yellow to orange. Great fun. So this is just a very classic acid-base equilibria of uh, the chromate six and the dichromate six iron. There is, as we mentioned, another oxidation state of chromium that you're very, very familiar with. Uh, we use this as an oxidizing agent in organic chemistry. You know that's orange, and you can know something's been oxidized because it turns green. And here we have a solution of chromium three sulfate. It, it looks a sort of slightly bluish color. Uh, in reality, this is pure chromium th th uh, CrH2O6 3 plus in solution. It tends to look more green because it tends to have any sort of mono substitution on it with one of the waters disappearing will make it look uh, greener. So it tends to look a lot greener than that, but this is a, it's actually when it's very, very pure, it, it looks slightly bluish or violet colored. And that really is the colors of chromium, there are really only two really prevalent oxidation states, plus three and plus six, which uh, has an acid-base equilibrium between chromate and dichromate.